In 2005, B5 was born, a group of young men who had a soulful flair. They released their first album, titled B5, in July of 2005 and sold over 200,000 copies. They even made it to the number 19 on the Billboard 200. They worked on Disney's High School Musical soundtrack and even toured with Bow Wow and Omarion. It's safe to say that these young men were killing it in the early 2000s. In 2007, B5 released their new album titled Don't Talk, Just Listen. It did pretty well and debuted at number 27 on the US Billboard 200, selling 19,000 copies in its first week. After these albums came out, B5 kind of faded from the spotlight. A few of the members went on to get married and have kids. They did come back in 2018 and release a new single titled Do That, followed by a new single in 2019 titled Wave. Wave gave a more matured feel, letting us know that B5 had definitely grown up. Later on, the youngest member of the group, Brian Breeding, stated that the group was never compensated for their work. 15 year anniversary. 15 years from today, my life was changed forever. Releasing our first commercial self-titled album, B5, on July 19, 2005. Looking back at it now, it's full of bittersweet memories. Sharing my life with my four older brothers and cousin, music was my pride, joy, and passion. Only short-lived though. After being exposed to the deep levels of politics and agendas quickly helped me realize that the music business is less about music and more about the business, which was fine to overlook at the age of 12 and stay focused on my craft, trying to protect my innocence with the love of music. But this is usually the beginning of exploits for snakes to come into the picture, cleverly hiding behind contracts only in favor of the ones creating it. Brian stated that the group made about 99% of their income from live performances and merchandise, but that even presently, he hasn't seen a penny from any of their albums. He encourages young artists to read their contracts on their own music to avoid this happening. Sad part is, this is not the first time we have heard about artists not being compensated by Bad Boy Records. The group 112 and artists like Mace were both signed to Bad Boy Records and have reported similar circumstances of not being compensated. B5 did an interview with 2Fab in 2019 where they stated their plan for a comeback and how they're doing it all on their own since they are no longer signed to a label. They expressed that splitting up and working on themselves have made them a stronger group. They did discuss a new EP called New Jacksons coming out, but that has yet to be released. It might be possible that the pandemic could have caused delays with their new project, or it could be that B5 ended a long time ago.